Panthers at Saints, NFC South battle. The battle was won by the incredible Saints rushing duo and Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara. Ingram rushed for 85 yards on 14 attempts, including a three-yard touchdown run in the second quarter. Ingram also had 37 receiving yards on six receptions. The rookie sensation Alvin Kamara ran for 60 yards on nine attempts, including a two-yard touchdown run in the first quarter and a 20-yard touchdown run in the third quarter. Kamara also had 66 receiving yards on four receptions. Saints beat the Panthers 31-21 and take control of the NFC South. Dylan, do you see the Saints running away with the division? No, I don't see them running away with it. Um, it's so jam-packed. Now, they're benefited. Great day for the Saints. Unbelievable day for the Saints. As everything was so uh, close in the NFC South, you get a, a, a loss for the Falcons, which is great news for them. And, and you also beat your rival Panthers and, and do so in a way that really, really was impressive. These two guys they have in the backfield, now that they really got Ingram going, and we know all about Kamara, he's been unbelievable. Gets so much yardage without needing a ton of touches. It allows Ingram to stay involved in the game as he was today. But six straight games with touchdowns for Kamara. He's approaching the Saints' all-time rookie franchise record of 13 touchdowns. And he's just, he's always such an, uh, such an electric, dynamic player. When he touches the football, you feel like he could bust into the house every time he gets a touch. And Drew Brees, I love the way he's aging like a fine wine here. These are not the days where he's throwing for 400 yards and, and, and dropping back 50 times. He knows he's got a run game. He knows he's got a ball-hawking defense and a team that, is, uh, that capitalizes on, on your mistakes. You look at Carolina, they made a few mistakes. Kalen Clay, their punt returner, was a hero last week as he busted one of the house on a punt return against the Jets. Today, he coughs one up, muffs one, and fumbles it. That sets up a Saints field goal, and that's really where they were able to pad their lead and cement this game. But I look at the Saints team, I think they're going to win the division. I don't think it's going to be totally easy because they've got some big division games coming up. And the Falcons and the Panthers are both good football teams. And when you go to the other barns, you know, this one was lucky enough to be in the Big Easy. When you're going on the road, it's tough to win in the NFC South. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a skate, but I do think they win. And I think today was a huge, huge step forward into trying to clinch that division title. Before this season started, would you have expected this for the Saints? No, not even close. Not even uh, close. I mean, the, the, the residing conference champion it comes from this division. Yeah. Uh, we expected the Panthers to kind of, you know, wake up from their last season slumber and remember that they went to a Super Bowl not that long ago and won the NFC. So when you've got two teams that are conference champions over the last, uh, you know, couple, half a handful of years, um, I never thought the Saints were going to be this good. I never saw Crowley and Lattimore as impact players on the defensive side. And I certainly, certainly, I don't think anyone uh, understood how impactful Alvin Kamara would be yeah. for this offense. He has been the wild card. He has been the guy that you could dump off through the, through the pass game that can take handoffs, and it just always seems like he's, uh, he's busting big plays. So I didn't see it coming, but I think it makes for a very, very fascinating storyline in that South because you've got three really good teams. Yep, Saints improved to 9-3, and three, and we're all like, oh, Saints doing pretty darn well. Yep. For all your NFL news, keep it locked right here on Stadium.